The obelisk seems to have a weak spot. The obelisk seems to have a weak spot. The obelisk seems to have a weak spot. If only I were in the paper industry. a long face. Oh, you want more bananas so you can continue to cook a variety of dishes for us. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Is there anything more functional than a bucket? Patigate, Patigate, Baker's Man. There's plenty of it. <laughs> he doesn't really approve of me wanting the banana oil. Anyway, I think he's grumpy because we're out of bananas. <laughs> the oil is the only banana-based item we have on board now. Perhaps he'll give it to me if I give him some more bananas. Having a torch ready is important on any ship. A burned out torch is as useful as a monkey owning a porcelain shop. The torch is lit and can be used. I just have to be careful not to set fire to the ship. Are you really sure this is the right place? Pretty sure, yes. At any rate, this obelisk is the only thing that looks anything like an octopus on the entire Nile so far. An octopus obelisk. Is that really all we've got to hang on to? Hey, don't worry, we'll sort this in no time. Of course, just like always. A regular cannonball. Nothing unusual. We finally found the sign from my dream. I never doubted your abilities. Hey, it's good to talk to someone for a change who doesn't question every little thing I do. And now, we need to work out how to get in there. I'll document the adventure with a few photos. Hey, I bought those in Shanghai for New Year's Eve. I'll open the fireworks carefully to get at the gunpowder. I hope I don't strike any sparks.
The obelisk seems to have a weak spot. A long and sturdy branch. Water's flowing in it, but the cleft is too narrow to get through that way. Water's flowing in it. But the cleft is too narrow to get through that way. I bet the next piece of the amulet is in this cave. That could be important later. I bet the next that could be important later. An eye and other small symbols. Hmm. Maybe they mean we're watching you, or something like that. I can see some sort of bird, but I can't imagine what it means. Plants cover most of the symbols, but I wouldn't understand them. Pull the stupid pineapple out with my bare hands! This pineapple's really hard. I can't remember if that means it's ripe or not. Before this adventure, I didn't have much time for carving. Now there are lots of opportunities. Why spend money on an expensive ramrod when you're a genius? Ha! The perfect improvised ramrod. That doesn't seem to work. It's been a while since I last prepared a cannon to be fired. There's still some gunpowder in the cannon. If I use too much, the cannon could explode.
I only need a little piece of the fuse. Hey, that's a lot of firepower. But I'm so scatterbrained that I forgot to put in the cannonball. It's been a while since I last prepared a cannon to be fired. I've got a good feeling that everything's ready now. Let's choose a target to shoot at. Oops, that wasn't my intention. I don't know, Jack, but somehow you seem to attract this kind of mishap. Well, <laughs> problems are there to be solved. I'm sure we can reach the cave some other way, which is now open. Just thought I'd mention it. All right, I know how to ready the cannon. I'll put the powder in the fuse here if I need to fire it again. There should be enough cannonballs for a few shots. Got enough fireworks to greet the new century. I'll take one if I want to shoot the cannon again. I've got enough fireworks to greet the new century. So you readied the cannon? Sure, but I don't know if we've got the firepower to blast open the cave entrance. Brute force isn't always the solution. If a direct approach won't work, then maybe we should be creative. Ah yes, thanks. I can think of the rest myself. I'll take one if I want to shoot the cannon again. I've got enough fireworks to greet the new century. So you readied the cannon? Sure, but I don't know if we've got the firepower to blast open the cave entrance. Brute force isn't always the solution. If a direct approach won't work, then maybe we should be creative. Um, so I shoot at what? Dang. Find a target that's easier to destroy and then use that to get in. Ah, I see. Got it. I think. Of course.
Water's flowing in it, but the cleft is too narrow to get through that way. I'll take one if I want to shoot the cannon again. Incredible. I hit the banana tree without reducing it to firewood. Great shot, Jack. Shooting at a banana tree. That has a familiar ring to it, but why? What do you think? I can't imagine anyone doing anything this crazy before. <laughs> I thought a column that's thousands of years old would be a little more resilient. Perhaps no one will notice. If you cannot even show respect for the monuments of ancient couches, I now have an explanation for the state of your ship. I'd say sorry if it weren't for... Now we have access to the cave again. Sometimes you just have to make sacrifices. If only I were in the paper industry. Oh, even more bananas. I'm really starting to get sick of them. Ah, you can smell the bananas in my pockets, right? Fine. Take them and prepare one of your incomparable lunches. <laughs> what is it? Your hat's too tight. Three injured hikers by the old oak tree. Oh, is that it? You fixed me something to eat. What? You're talking about bananas? Oh, you really mean bananas. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe later. Oil made from bananas. Look out, Greece. How much longer will you corner the market with your oils? Here we go, no matter what awaits us inside. Hey, come on, let's take a closer look at the cave. 
Next time, would you please refrain from destroying the only path? I'll try to do better next time I fire an ancient cannon. Ugh, this is exhausting. Probably your shoes. Well, I'm not surprised that you feel right at home here. Uh, I should have brought the gorilla instead. Replacing Amanda with the gorilla would certainly improve the overall manners of our group. I just remembered why bringing women on board is bad luck. Carl, what's taking you so long? We'd better be done here before our only torch burns out. I'm sorry, I just had something to take care of. Here I am now! All right then, follow me. It's so dark here. Are you scared? Just a little bit. Not you, Carl. Jack, could you walk a little more slowly with that torch? Be quiet a moment. What an impressive cave. So large and beautiful. Look, there's a bridge over there. Watch out, everyone. There's a chasm right in front of us. Obviously, humans have been here before, ages ago. Wow, you figured that out all by yourself. You must have had some scouts among your ancestors. My ancestors tamed the western frontier. What did you tame? Your fingernails? Amanda is right. These hieroglyphs were written in a very ancient dialect. They're not easy to decipher. Carl, you can read Egyptian hieroglyphs? Sure. I broke a leg when I was 12 and had to stay at home for a few weeks. My father had this book about hieroglyphs. I also learned some Greek and Sumerian. A man who uses his free time to broaden his horizon? Now that is rather impressive. Weird. Interesting. I haven't seen hieroglyphs like these in quite a while.